हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज डॉक्टर मोहम्मद शौकत अंसारी फ्रॉम योर ओन चैनल लर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज स्किल्स विथ शौकत अंसारी here in this special lesson you are going to learn about two relevant tips towards spoken english by using modal verbs my dear good learners suppose someone has asked you a question and you have to reply in affirmative and the question is why isn't mukesh in class why isn't mukesh in class and you have to respond in affirmative sentence in positive sentence but your response must be in line with the degree of certainty the parameters of certainty maybe you are sure 100% sure maybe you are 50% sure maybe you are 90% sure so according to the parameters of certainty you have to reply i repeat the question is why isn't mukesh in class why isn't mukesh in class suppose you are 100% sure what should be your response what should be your reply he is sick if you are 100% sure you can say he is sick but suppose you are 90% sure and 10% you are unsure and 90% you are certain your reply must be he must be sick he must be sick he must be sick and suppose the same question is and someone has asked you why isn't mukesh in the class but you are 50% sure and 50% unsure i mean less than 50% you are sure your answer will be he may be sick he might be sick he could be sick he may be sick he might be sick he could be sick when you are 50% sure so my dear good students by using these modal verbs must or may or might or can or could you can reply so the question is why isn't mukesh in class 100% sure your reply should be he is sick 90% sure your re response will be he must be sick and less than 50% sure you are your response will be he may be sick he might be sick and he could be sick now next next point suppose someone has asked you is sohan hungry and you have to reply in negative in negative form in negative sentences again the parameters of certainty matter much play a wider role in forming your replies suppose you are 100% sure and the question is someone has asked you is mohan hungry and you have to reply in negative sentences so if you are 100% sure you can say he isn't hungry isn't will not won't would not wouldn't has not hasn't have not haven't do not don't did not didn't does not doesn't like this you can make contracted forms when you speak and these contracted forms are used in a spoken english okay 
So suppose you are hundred percent sure, and the question is, someone has asked you, is Sohan hungry? And you have to reply in negative. If you are hundred percent sure, you can say he isn't hungry. He is not hungry. And if you are ninety percent sure, you can say he couldn't be hungry. He couldn't be hungry. Or you can say he can't be hungry. Can't. Can't in American English pronunciation and can't in British English pronunciation. So you are ninety percent sure you can say he couldn't be hungry. You mean Sohan couldn't be hungry. He can't be hungry. And less than ninety percent sure, maybe eighty percent. Okay. Maybe seventy uh, percent. You can say he must not be hungry. He must not be hungry. He must not be hungry. And if you are less than fifty percent sure, less than fifty percent certain, you are not hundred uh, percent confident. Just fifty percent confident, and you are in between. Then you can say he may not be hungry. He may not be hungry. He might not be hungry. He might be. He might not be hungry. So, my dear good students, this is just a brief lesson towards your spoken English, and you can use these modal verbs in accordance with the degrees of certainty. Thank you very much. See you. and don't forget to subscribe to this channel learn english language skills with sokat ansari and stay connected stay healthy and keep shining thank you see you